Welcome to this instructional video for the Turberg Attack R3 Category 2 and H2 Airfield Rescue and Firefighting Appliance. This presentation can be followed along with the operating instructions for additional reference. Firstly, an overview of the appliance specification. The chassis is an Isuzu D-Max 4x4 with extended cab. The integral water tank has a capacity of 700 litres and the foam tank has a capacity of 42 litres. The Godiva pump has a maximum output of 500 litres per minute at 7 bar pressure and the recommended branch delivery is 225 to 250 litres per minute. The auxiliary water pump fuel tank has a capacity of 10 litres. As standard, the foam system is calibrated to 3% and is compatible with nearly all liquid firefighting foams currently available. The foam system can be calibrated to suit higher or lower percentage foam concentrates. The Isuzu Extended Cab provides a safe and comfortable environment for the crew and the rear body houses the fire and rescue equipment. The pump locker contains the spray branch, the foam tube and space for two delivery hoses. The left hand locker contains the foam tank, space for fire extinguishers, rescue rope, hand tools and a toolbox. The right hand locker contains space for three extinguishers, a rescue ladder, a standpipe bar and key, a first aid kit and a grab hook. Maintenance and daily checks while the vehicle is in service. The following chassis checks should be made to ensure the TAC R3 is ready for operational use. Check the engine oil. Check the coolant level. Check the brake and clutch levels. And also check the screen wash level. For the pump engine, on the weekly checks, just check the engine oil. The dipstick is located behind the exhaust and is, has the yellow handle. Check all four tyres for condition and pressure. The front tyre should be inflated to 2.5 bar and the rear tyre should be inflated to 3.1 bar. For monthly checks, the rear suspension airbags need to be maintained at 3.5 bars. The valves can be located at the right hand side, at the rear, underneath, next to the chassis. Water tank fill. To fill the water tank, connect a hose to the tank fill connection. Being careful not to exceed 3 bar filling pressure. Tank contents level can be seen on the tank level gauge. To refill the foam tank, unscrew the cap. Fill the tank with the desired foam. Replace the cap. and wipe away any foam overspill. Fuel tank. The water pump engine runs on unleaded petrol only and is replenished via the rear petrol fill point. Do not overfill. Please note the pump engine will also run on the new E10 unleaded petrol. 240 volt mains. Ensure the RCB is on and test monthly by pressing the test button with the mains connected. After the test, reset. The TAC R3 is fitted with a full Siren PA system and emergency blue lighting. To operate the Siren, press the 999 button. This activates the front blues, the rear blues and the light bar. And then to activate the Siren, press the road horn. To turn the Siren off, Press the 999 button. The PA system is operated via the PTT button on the handheld set. Press the PTT button and talk into the mic. Testing one, two, one, two. Arrival at scene button. When the 999 button is pressed for a second time, the button illuminates red. The following functions are activated. The siren is switched off. The light bar, front and rear blues, scene light and spotlights, interior and amber beacon are all activated. 
The handset will automatically switch off after one minute when no function has been activated or all the lights have been switched off. The water pump is independent and as such can operate without the vehicle engine running, but it is highly recommended to keep the vehicle engine running when using the water pump and auxiliary lighting to keep the batteries fully charged. Standby position. Foam valve closed. Handline main line delivery valve closed. Pump drain closed. Pump ignition switch off. Water tank full. Foam tank full. Pump fuel tank full. Foam branch set to 225 to 250. Connect auto eject. Pump operation. To avoid deadheading the pump, pre connect the delivery line and the branch. To start the pump, turn the ignition on, pull the choke out for cold start, and press the start button. Put the choke in once the engine is running and to open the delivery valve. Increase the revs to get seven bar pump pressure. Ensure the branch is set to 250 litres per minute. The vehicle is supplied with a foam making tube which connects directly to the foam branch. Pump close down procedure. Decrease RPM. Close the handline delivery valve. Close the foam valve if it has been opened. Stop the engine and turn the ignition off. It is recommended that the pump is operated for 15 minutes every week to ensure full operation of the pump. To do this, connect the hose to the delivery line and the other end to the tank fill. Start the pump in the normal operating manner, choke on if it's cold, ignition on and start the pump. Open the delivery valve and increase the revs but do not exceed more than three bars of pressure. Ensure the pump is running correctly and leave for 15 minutes. Close down procedure. Decrease RPM. Close the handline delivery valve. Close the foam valve if it has been opened. Stop the engine and turn the ignition off. <laughs> 